So basically when doing gold recovery from RAM, slot cards, etc., we are after the gold fingers. So on your average piece of RAM, such as this one, we are just gonna be removing those gold fingers with scissors, snips, cutters, anything you can use to just cut those off cleanly. There are some exceptions like this that it has plenty more gold plating on the back side where we'll be processing the entire stick and we'll just have to remove all of these IC chips along with the solder and other components. As for the ram with other gold plated areas on it, we're gonna use a heat gun to remove everything on the board. Now you're left with the clean gold fingers and the gold plated boards to process in your AP solution or nitric or however you choose to process that. Me, I'll be putting this into acid peroxide solution. The next step is real simple. We're gonna take our gold fingers and our RAM cards and we're gonna put them into acid peroxide solution, which if you don't know what that is, acid peroxide, is exactly what its name says it is. Muriatic acid, also known as hydrochloric acid, and hydrogen peroxide. Both of these are readily available at Walmart. You just add in our fingers and our ram. And what this is gonna do is slowly eat away the copper that's underneath these gold fingers and leave the gold plated parts to float free in the acid and after that we'll just filter it strain them out and we'll have our gold plate So that's it. We'll leave those in there and let them simmer till we see gold flakes floating free. Came out today. This is the next day to check on our ram and gold fingers. And oh, this looks good, y'all. Lots of gold floating in there. The ram that I see has no gold platings left. Down in the bottom, you can see lots of gold flakes sitting around there. We'll give it a little stir. Oh man, absolutely beautiful. Lots of gold flake in there. So we'll go ahead and filter that out. Any gold foils that are still stuck to the ram and the fingers, we'll give them a little spray with some just distilled regular water. And we're just gonna be pouring them through a regular coffee filter in a funnel to collect those gold foils.
so there's our ram and our fingers all nice and clean there's some little bits of copper that was left undissolved we got all our gold foils off got them down here in the bottom of our filter all that black we see is most likely going to be dissolved solder the remaining of all the solder that was on these ram boards that we just kind of heated it up and wiped it off but there was still some remaining and that's more than likely what that is which when we process this in aqua regia that'll all be left in the filter as our gold goes into solution or beforehand we could clean this up with some hot hydrochloric acid or some dilute nitric acid to get rid of all those base metals before we take the gold into aqua regia but i don't see a need for it so we'll go ahead and take these gold foils to aqua regia and we can discard these pieces of pcb